Amidst political turmoil and great suffering in his home country, the ambassador of Venezuela to the United States is here in Houston tonight listening to the needs of his community, which are great, by the way, and explaining the actions of the interim government in Venezuela. He spoke with our Sion Rhodes, who's joining us live outside the Venezuelan consulate. Sion? And the ambassador told me one of the first things he wants to do is reopen this consulate. It's been closed for months as the country endures a political power play. Venezuela is a country in crisis. And we have our family there without food, without water, without light. After a massive blackout last Thursday, the situation deteriorating as a stalemate continues between embattled President Nicolas Maduro and opposition leader Juan Guaido, the self-declared interim president. I want to send a clear message to them that we are in a process of changing Venezuela. Venezuela is ready for a change. Carlos Vecchio, Guaido's newly appointed ambassador to the U.S., making a stop in Houston to reassure not only oil executives in town for Sarah Week, but also members of Houston's Venezuela community that a new Venezuela is coming that we are very close, that nobody wants to stop that change, and that we will have an, a, an, a huge opportunity in front of us in order to recover our democracy. We have a hope that we haven't had in many years. It's a message local Venezuelans say they've been waiting to hear for a long time. Now we are people, we have people that are fighting for our rights. But experts say it's a change that won't come easy. Until, you know, the, the de facto ruler of Venezuela uh, you know, is removed from office and uh, a new government takes charge, they will have a limited capacity to influence what happens in the country, including, the, you know, getting the humanitarian aid in and solving the, the crisis. And of course, Houston's energy sector watching what happens in Venezuela very closely as well. Last year, half a million barrels of Venezuelan oil were processed here or refineries along our coast. Reporting live in Southwest Houston, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Sion.